Hello everybody, I'm back again. Okay, so today we are going to try some new book page pockets. I found some that I had done um, a while ago and apparently I never, you know, did anything with them. Why? I don't know. I guess from moving to moving, you know, you, you tend to lose stuff. This is why you have to journal things, Patty. I know I could hear you guys telling me that. Anyways, okay, I found them. That's the good part. And this one's fairly simple. I just, you know, just a tuck. I found this one. I've never done these before. Um, then I ended up making them like this, where you have well, the paper clips are nicely glued there. So it's just an, an actual, well, it's two book pages that I just, you know, kept together and folded it in half and then just cut a piece. And this piece is the one that goes here. So when I cut that piece off, I just brought it down to create two pockets. <clears throat> so that one's, it, it's, they're fairly easy. And um, you know, if you guys are like me, you guys like a lot of tucks, I know I do the the top part you can cut the little edge and make a tag there well, we're gonna do that um yeah i'm gonna sew it though i was thinking of gluing it for video sake but i like i like the the um the stitching part so hold on let me bring my sewing machine closer to me and we'll get started Okay, so bring that there. There. Sorry, guys, I'm just bringing my sewing machine closer to me so I don't have to get up. And so on this one, like I said, um, it's just a I don't have any. Do I have this book? I'm wondering if we can do one this size because that's a bigger page. So you would get two pages. I need to take this off. This is a glue from the book. This is the only book that does this to me. I should have got another book. Okay, so you just get two book pages and then you fold them in half. And that's all we have so far. And then you can use your cutter or you can use your scissors but you're gonna cut at an angle. And this time, I'm gonna leave the, the closed part of the pages that, well, this one's not gonna hold it together, but you know, I'm gonna, ignore me. Okay, I'm gonna get the paper trimmer. Sometimes I say too much, I end up confusing you guys, and I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna open it, and I'm gonna go to the, the score line from where I scored it in half and get it to the edge and then I'm gonna say I want it there I'm gonna say there so then we fold our page back and then this piece that we turn oh, turn cut off my goodness it's gonna come right here so that gives us you know our our two little little pockets I need to glue these hold on let's put a little bit of glue to keep them together just to keep them together guys so that goes like this 
I had it wrong the other time. I had it this way. And that is not the, that looks all weird. You got a line and then the other one's going that way. <laughs> so the right way is to look even. <laughs> and I will, I will distress it a little so you guys can see better. That's fine. Just the edges. So yeah. See, you have to have the the same as uh, if you put it this way, it looks all weird. I hope you guys can see the lines. <laughs> and that's all you do. And then um, I'm going to leave the top open because I'm going to put a tag in there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cheat first. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue here. And a tiny bit here only because I want I want it to stay together you know I don't want to uh, for it to move when I'm sewing because God knows that happens to me I'll make sure I have it straight so there you have it see and all I got to do is just sew. Well, I don't have to sew there actually yes I do so here here and here and I'm going to leave this part open. You don't have to. You can leave it like that. I want to add a ta uh, tag up there. Man, why can I talk right today? So while we give it a little bit of time to let that glue dry a little bit. Because I don't want it to mess up my, my um, sewing machine. I'm going to grab this one that I already made. And I'm going to sew this one. But I am going to open that one because this one, that was the end of the pages. Oh, and also you can trim it if you want it a little thinner. This one's a little, how much is it? One, two, three, four and a half. The width, four and a half. I probably would rather have it at a four inch. So I'm going to go and do that. But, you know, depending what it's for, what project it is, I'm going to trim it. I want mine a little bit thinner. So I'm going to go ahead and wait, we need to open the top part of this one. Bring this back down because I want to, I want to insert a tag with just the edge to open it. See, this is a larger book page. So the larger the book page, the taller or wider the, your, your um, pocket will be. So I'm going to sew this real quick. Actually, I should have glued this one too. I just like the sewing. You don't have to sew, but I like the sewing part. So since now this one's wet, I'm going to take this one and I'm going to sew this one real quick. And I'm probably going to use a straight stitch. So let me... Okay. Make sure... Okay, we're good. Pop it there. Okay, guys, sorry for the, the little um, noise. Hold on. Glares on you guys. Okay. It's hard to, to uh, sew and talk at the same time. <laughs> okay. So there we have it. Ah. Okay. My, uh, my thing moved a little bit. Where? There it is. My pocket moved a little bit, darn it. But I'm gonna do this. But 
but there you have it. And then here, you would use your your little hole mouth circle punch, but because I don't have one, I'm going to make my hole by tearing it. Throw that in there. Just So yeah, that's, you know, if you have your rounder, it's going to look a lot cleaner than mine. But that's one of the ones um, that I had made and never, never showed the video. You can also... The other ideas are popping in my head. But maybe I'll leave that for another video. But let's sew this one real quick, and then we'll get to the next one. have it there is a larger one you gotta tuck there tuck here and it's open up here for a little tag I just have to I want to see give it a try see if I can find that uh, rounder but <laughs> that circle punch I mean but yeah so you would put your little tag there and then you got your your little pockets here and pocket there so okay that was that one and then this one it's a, just a little simple one you just put your little tag in there and then we got these these are our tag shape ones and it looks like I did the same thing but it's just in a form of a of a, um, a tag so it's kind of the same as this just in the form of a tag so um, then this one, what I did is I popped a piece up here to make a tuck, a tuck up here, and then a tuck here. So that was kind of cool. I like that. And then this one is the pocket in there. And then just keep getting the little bits and pieces I have there. These are from, I think, uh, Herzology and a pocket there so those are cute and um, again they were well let's see this one pop those back over there it's just a two book pages again see this it was like this so I just cut it off and then fold it again down and then I just well trimmed it the width I want it and then just cut the tag and then this little piece is the one that had come from here so I saved it and you just pop it there so yeah they're they're very very simple but cute you know because you know I mean if you guys are like me I like having little pockets and tucks everywhere they're just they're just fun they're just fun <laughs> and then this one Man, those paper clips are really, really on there. I guess they, they, it's been sitting there for a while. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> this one, again, it's the same thing. It opens from here. So you have two pages put together. Look, I even have the thread still from where the it was sewn on the actual book. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, poultry in a pot. So just fold it in half and then again fold it in half. And I just ended up cutting it to make a pocket and then I'm not sure where this piece came from but you just do a little tri triangle 
and you pop it there and so you have your tuck here put a cute little tag and I don't have any more tags so your little other stuff back there so that's cute I just wanted to share who knows maybe I did share them and I just don't remember but I don't remember sharing them <laughs> so that's those this one yeah I think it's the same one we just did I guess I made a couple of them and I think that's it guys these are you know it's just also a book bowl didn't have doing the tag the same way but I just left a little flap here so you could just tuck something in there and then you you know you put some nice paper where you can journal and um, yeah add your little decorations so yeah, I don't know if I did that one but yeah these were the last ones that I did from my uh, previous video which I have some I'm trying to decorate to create some um, what do you call it book page pocket kits so I need to get my butt in gear for that I got these going on here but yeah that's it guys I just wanted to share that with you guys real quick I hope um, yeah like I said who knows I might have already shown them to you and just don't remember but also I said on my previous video where are we okay we're good that I was gonna share the stuff and see if it dried already from my previous video showing the um, solution the um, stains by patty pockets it's dried already and I honestly I like the way it looks with uh, I never use the solution on top of ephemera I always just use it on book pages I didn't do the back but that's the original book page the color and then some of the ephemera that I used and then this is with the solution so it, it kind of has a little bit of a gloss, I want to say, look to it. But it could be the page, the book page. Because this is a different page than, than this one. The texture. So maybe that's why, because it only has it on the actual book page, as you can see. So I think maybe the book page might have been a little glossy. But yeah, um... If you guys didn't see the video before this, I I was using the solution. Somebody asked if it could be used on ephemera. And um, I said I never had, so I did it on video, and it came out good. I like the way it came out. So now i got to distress the back. But, yeah, I really like that. And um, on the glossy paper, yeah, no, I didn't like it. As you could see, I it, you could see the brushes. I mean, is it still wet? No. It's kind of... No, it's dried. But yeah, I don't... I mean, it's okay, I guess. But I don't like the streaks. But I love that the brown paper got darker. Because this one was already a beautiful color. It was already an old book page. But yeah, I'm not sure about the... The lines in the image. What do you guys think? So that was that one. And then this one, it's still a little damp. It still feels a little damp. But I did the collaging with the a solution. And as you can see, it, it's, it's there. And then the... This is still wet where the napkin is. As you can see, the edges, it's already drying up. But it's still wet, but um, it's there. It's on. But yeah, it's still wet. But I like the way that looks, too. So, yeah, guys. Oh, and I have this one, too. But for some reason, this is still wet in the edge right there. But there is the... Um, that's the back. This is the original color of the page. And then that's the front. So, okay, guys. I just wanted to share that with you guys at the end of this video. Um, I hope you guys like it. And I hope you guys give my uh, Stains by Patty Pockets a try. Um, you know, it's fun to play with. And um, I like the, the 
you know the look that it gives the paper so i hope you guys feel the same way let me know um for those of you that have purchased it please let me know i would really like your feedback um on the on the stains anyways thank you so much you guys have a good rest of the day and god bless bye